Hi, I'm Roger. I'm Cindy, and we're Changing, Changing the, the View. view. So we've been on the road now for about seven months, almost seven months. And in that time, we have traveled roughly 16,000 miles, 22 states, uh, 25 plus campgrounds, and we have visited 18 national parks. In our last update, we were at Gulf State Park. We stayed there until Monday, and we moved over to Johnny's RV in Somerdale, Alabama. We visited that place for just a couple of nights and now we are staying at Wilson RV which is better known as Cindy's parents yard <laughs> so we had we had planned on staying at Johnny's RV um, in the Foley Somerdale area of South Alabama which is where we're from we had planned to stay there the month of December however my parents said we were welcome to stay here. We thought we'd save a little money, and so here we are. The rates are a lot better here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be here for the entire month of December, and we're going to be catching up with family and friends, so that's why this is going to be the last uh, update that we give until we get back on the road. So we came here um, last Wednesday, set up camp, and then Thursday was Thanksgiving. So we, um, we took the opportunity that day to spend time with uh, my family and with Cindy's family. It was a, a busy day, uh, lots of fun, great seeing a uh, family that we haven't seen in a number of months. So we enjoyed the day. And then Black Friday, I spent um, shopping online. Roger spent doing some video updates. And I also got to keep my sweet little nephew, great nephew, Kaysen. I've gotten to spend a little bit of time with him because he's our neighbor now that we're at Wilson RV. <laughs> um, Sunday, we visited, no, I skipped a big day. I skipped a really big day. Saturday was the Iron Bowl. That's the biggest rivalry in Alabama. Yeah, for Al those of you who are not from the state of Alabama, every state has their big rivalries. Well, in Alabama, it's it's the University of Alabama and Auburn University, huge rivalry. We call it the Iron Bowl. And our family is split. I'm an Auburn fan. Um, Roger is an Alabama fan. <laughs> and it's split among the entire family. There are we're mixed in there, Alabama and Auburn. So this is a huge game for us. We always get together and watch together. Um, most of my immediate family is on the Alabama side, but we do have a few Auburn fans in the family. And we won. <laughs> I say we, I wasn't on the field, but my team won. So that was really exciting for me. Roger was pretty bummed out about it. <laughs> but, um, you know, there's always next year. Yep. <laughs> and Alabama always does great things, so we'll see what happens next year. Sunday was spent at my hometown church, the church I grew up in in Atmore, Alabama. 
we spent the um, morning at Atmore First Assembly. And then we enjoyed time with family after that. Um, that pretty much wraps up our week last week. We're going to be here at Wilson RV for the rest of December. And we'll start updating again once we hit the road in January. Yeah, I would like to say that while we're here, we'll be doing uh, some upgrades and modifications and repairs to the RV. So uh, watch for those videos up and coming. Yeah, although we're not doing updates, we do have several videos that we have started that Roger will be working on, getting some editing done, um, and we will be posting videos all throughout December, so keep watching the channel, but we'll start back with the weekly updates in January. And we're still catching up on travel videos as well. We're, we're behind. We have probably... Three more, three or four more uh, destinations that we have not put out a travel video on. So those will be coming out this month as well. So watch for those on Marks and Parks with Brennan. Mm -hmm. So we're closing out 2019. We're approaching the end of a, a year and the beginning of a new year. So um, obviously uh, during that time, many people like to reflect on the previous year and and looking forward to the next year and how can we make that better. So We've been doing that. We've been reflecting on 2019, but particularly uh, the past seven months or so th that we have been traveling. Um, both of us feel uh, extremely blessed that we uh, that God has given us this opportunity to to travel like we have. Uh, we've seen some amazing destinations, some beautiful views, unreal, and. Uh, in, in seeing that, we've just had a constant reminder of, of how good our God is and, and how beautiful His creation uh, is. And we've also had an opportunity to reevaluate our priorities, to think about and focus on what's most important in our lives, that being... Faith, number one. Our, our faith, faith is number one and our family. Number two is family. So it's, it's given us an opportunity to uh, increase our faith and to grow closer in our relationship with one another um, as a family. It's also given us um, a, a greater love of life, if you will, just uh, how precious life is and, and every day and to, to make every moment count. And through our adventures and travels, we certainly hope that we have somehow inspired others and encouraged others not to necessarily travel, if that's not your thing, but certainly we would love for you to give it a try and to get out there as, as much as you can, take every opportunity to travel uh, and to take adventures and to see new things and to experience new things. But even if travel is not your thing, uh, Discover what your passion is. What is it that you love? Find that uh, zest for life and get out there and, and live. Yeah, we have no regrets. We This has been the most amazing experience and um, we have enjoyed every minute of it. We're really looking forward to what 2020 is going to bring. You want to give them a glimpse of that? Okay, um, January 1, we will be headed, headed out again and we are even though we're in the south, we're going to be headed south. <laughs> Even well, that way. <laughs> as far south as we can go. We are currently in, in South Alabama. We're going to be headed down Florida um, and making our way slowly all the way down to the Keys and then coming back up Florida. And um, we'll be in Florida probably all of January, part of February. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to make our way up the East Coast. Yeah. So we're going to go down the south, the sorry, the west side of Florida, all the way to the Keys, and come back up the east, all the way up the east coast to Far Harbor, Maine, and um, then we're going to visit some of those northern states. I told Sally Costa we would not be going to Michigan, but we are. We're going to see Sally's uh, home state in Michigan, 
and some of the other states up across north and we are actually heading back into Wyoming. <laughs> We're going to see Yellowstone again, the Grand Tetons, and um, wrap it all up in July when we have to get back to reality. Yeah, so we're excited about uh, Florida and the East Coast, uh, seeing some new things, some experiencing some different uh, landscapes, if you will. Um, we're excited about visiting a few cities. Yeah, we're gonna uh, over that way. Should we name them? Sure. Uh, New York City is one. Uh, we can't go up that way without visiting the Big Apple. Brennan is especially excited about that one. We're hoping we see Spider-Man. <laughs> um, Washington, D.C. Yes. is something we're really looking forward to. Can't we... wait to see the National Mall. Um, we teach on that in third grade every year, so I'm really excited about that one and uh, making Brennan's video for that. Yeah, I think it'll be a great uh, educational opportunity for Brennan mm -hmm. to learn more about uh, the country. Can't wait to taste the lobster in Maine. <laughs> yeah. What else are we looking forward to? Just new adventure, uh, new destinations, things we haven't seen before, things we haven't experienced before. Thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and, and smash that like button for us. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in 2020. Bye. <laughs> Is that good or you want me to do something different? That's good. You like it? Sure. You didn't mention the tree. We have a tree. <laughs> I, my contacts are messed up. I can't see me clearly. Oh, I see you clearly. You can see me clearly? Mm -hmm. and my eyes are dry because I'm so sleepy. Too bad it wasn't on the whole time. <laughs>